that. <laughs> There's 87 degrees on Saturday. Now that is just one day only, but mostly we're on a just a little bit of fog this morning. Uh, I don't really expect to see a whole lot of fog, but the opportunity is there. And then we get right into it looks like the next couple days. Those beaches around 74 degrees, the mountain 72, 86 in the high deserts and the 98 degrees in our low desert spots. John Rayward, and then we're going to see those temperatures get down to the 70s by the time we're heading into your Friday, 78 degrees, along with your Saturday. It looks like we'll be around 78 as well. In the areas could warm up. We have He's upper level clouds like. being supported Subscribe. by it looks like a tropical storm system. It was a hurricane that was Hurricane Christie, the remnants of it, but it is funneling a lot of clouds by Sunday for Southern California, Saturday, Sunday, um, and it will add in just a little bit more overcast in some of these areas. Pressure wants to make its way back into our forecast. There are couples stacked over into the Gulf of Alaska right now. One one big one after another. The trough doesn't dig far enough down to really create measurable opportunities of rainfall for us. So with that, we're kind of on the tail end of these storm systems, just still a little too far south. Not really in the peak of our winter when we get some nice big storms, but our fall months we do get provided with a little bit of drizzle shower activity. And so on your Monday eight, uh, as you get into your Monday, we do not often see 20 degree drops in a 24 hour period here in Southern California. While this is about an 18 degree drop, we're getting really close to that 20 degree drop. I just find that interesting. 